Hi everyone myself Surbhi and welcome to my podcast Who will cry when you die So today I am going to read the chapter Learn to say no gracefully It is easy to say yes to every request on your time when the priorities of your life are unclear when your days are not guided by a rich an inspiring vision of your future a clear image of an end result that will help you act more intentionally it is not hard for the agendas of those around you to dictate your actions as the author wrote in leadership wisdom from the monk who sold his ferrari If your priorities don't get scheduled into your planner other people's priorities will get into your planner The solution is to be clear about your life's highest objectives and then to learn to say no with grace The Chinese sage Chuangzu told the story of a man who forged swords for a maharaja even at the age of 90 his work was carried out with exceptional precision and ability no matter how rushed he was he never made even the slightest slip one day the maharaja asked the old man Is this a natural talent or is there some special technique that you use to create your remarkable results It is the concentration of the essentials replied the sword crafter I took to forging swords when I was 21 years old I did not care about anything else if it was not a sword. I did not look at it or pay any attention to it. Forging swords became my passion and my purpose. I took all the energy that I did not give in other directions and put it in the direction of my art. The most effective people concentrate on their areas of excellence that is on the things they do best and on those high impact activities that will advance their life work in being so consumed by the important things they find it easy to say no to the less than worthy distractions that clamor for their attention Michael Jordan the best basketball player in the game's history did not negotiate his contracts design his uniforms and prepare his travel schedules he focused his time and energy on what he did best playing basketball and delegated everything else to his handlers jazz great louis armstrong did not spend his time selling tickets to his shows and setting up chairs for the audience he concentrated on his point of brilliance playing the trumpet learning to say no to the non essentials will give you more time to devote to the things that have the power to truly improve the way you live thank you